Hello and welcome to part two of the lesson on potential difference and electromotive force. Let's make a start by assuming that you've seen part one and understood it. So first of all let's see if we can come up with a mathematical expression for electromotive force. In part one we saw that electromotive force or EMF applies to sources of electrical energy like batteries or dynamos and the definition of EMF is in terms of energy it's the energy transferred per coulomb and to work out the EMF we divide the energy transferred by the amount of charge that's flowed through the device maybe through the battery the symbol for EMF is a curly E and if we want to put the first equation into symbolic form we write the curly E equals well energy transferred we don't want to use E because it gets mixed up with EMF so we use W which stands for work and work is energy that's been transferred from one form to another so we're going to divide the work the energy transferred by the amount of charge that's flowed and that is given a symbol Q and we end up with the important formula for EMF which is equal to W over Q the energy transfer over the charge we may need sometimes to rearrange the equation so of course if we want the work as a subject that would give us work equals the charge times the EMF if we wanted the charge as the subject of the equation that would give us, give us work divided by EMF so take a good look at these formula we're going to try an example okay you can pause the video when you're ready if you want and get a pen paper and calculator the question is this how much electrical energy was produced when 55 microcoulombs pass through a photocell, that's a photoelectric cell, with an EMF of 240 millivolts. So we know the charge that's passed through something, 55 microcoulombs, and we know the EMF, which was 240 millivolts. And the question is, how much energy has been turned from light into electrical? Pause the video, pen, paper, calculator, have a go. Okay, I hope you've tried that. The amount of energy we can work out using the work equals charge times EMF. Charge 55 microcoulombs, we use 55 times 10 to the minus 6. The EMF is 240 millivolts, 240 times 10 to the minus 3 volts, the same as 0.24 volts and if you do that on the calculator the answer is 1.3 10 to the minus 5 joules notice I've given the answer to two significant figures 1.3 is two significant figures because the data you're provided with in the question was given to two significant figures 55 and 240 are both two significant figures hope you got that one right let's look at potential difference or voltage the equations and the definition are practically the same the only difference is the energy transferred is from electrical for EMF we're producing electricity when we talk about potential difference or voltage we're talking about electricity electrical energy being used up and the definition is almost the same it's the energy transferred divided by the amount of charge that gives us a potential difference or voltage in symbolic form potential difference well we often use V capital V meaning voltage and W for work energy transfer divided by charge it's really the same formula as EMF <coughs> and it can be arranged to give us W equals QV or Q is W over V depends what you want to work out okay here's a problem for you to solve how much energy does an electron gain when it passes through 200 kilovolts 
in an x-ray tube and you'll tell the elementary charge and there's a little diagram representing an x-ray tube you don't really know, need to know how it works but um, just pause the video have a think about that and see if you can work out how much energy the electron gains I hope you managed to do that the important point is that the electron passes through a voltage of 200,000 volts and the energy transfer will be the charge times the voltage the charge will really ignore the minus sign of the electron because the, the negative sign doesn't really affect the calculation we are only interested in the amount of energy not whether it's gained or lost so we're going to multiply 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs by the voltage 200 kilovolts 200,000 volts and we get a final answer of 3.2 times 10 to the minus 14 joules ok I hope you got that a little note on terminology about potential difference of voltage it is ok to say the voltage between two points is something or the voltage across one or more components is something but it is not ok to talk about the voltage through something current passes through things but voltage is not something that passes through something a voltage exists between two points or across a component between the two sides so please avoid using terms like voltage through let's look at how we measure voltage or potential difference it's measured with a voltmeter one word voltmeter and the voltmeter must be correct connected in parallel with the component we're trying to measure the voltage across so here's a bulb part of a circuit shown we want to know what the voltage across the bulb is that's from one side of the bulb to the other we simply connect the voltmeter like a little bridge one connection to one side of the bulb the other connection to the other side the voltmeter is in parallel with the bulb that is the correct way to connect a voltmeter if it were an ammeter to connect to measure current it would have to be in series but voltmeters are connected in parallel if you want to measure electromotive force you can connect the voltmeter directly to the isolated source not while it's operating as part of the circuit but you could isolate a cell connect a voltmeter to it it will tell you the EMF the electromotive force later on when you learn about internal resistance we'll modify this idea a little bit but for the moment just think of EMF as the voltage across a cell not always true in practice though and if you remember lesson one we had a cell and two bulbs if I wanted to measure the voltages at different points in the circuit I could connect three voltmeters like this I could connect one voltmeter across the cell and a voltmeter across each bulb and the readings we would have got were five two and three volts okay here's a question for you here's a circuit 1.5 EMF cell what's the voltmeter reading in this circuit take a look at it pause and think and the correct answer is the voltmeter reads zero a lot of students would have said the voltmeter reads 1.5 volts it certainly does not the voltmeter tells you something about the energy loss per coulomb as the current flows through this piece of wire here but if the wire is thick wire negligible resistance then there will be no energy loss the wire will not get hot and glow like a bulb so the energy transferred per coulomb flowing through this piece of wire is zero and the voltage across that piece of wire from this point to this point is zero think about that carefully okay little summary uh, first of all let's remind you the EMF electromotive force is a term we apply to sources of electrical energy like batteries potential difference PD or voltage is applied to things that use electrical energy like bulbs 
they both can be calculated by dividing the amount of energy transferred by the charge flowing through the object and that will give you if you divide whoops daisy that will give you if you divide the energy transferred in joules by the charge in coulombs you get the emf or the voltage in volts one final note for practical purposes emf and voltage can be thought of as some sort of electrical pressure so a high emf is going to push the current around the circuit easier than a small emf you'll get a bigger current if you have the same bulb with a low voltage and high voltage across it the high voltage will push a bigger current through the bulb than the low voltage and when we talk about the relationship between current and voltage for different things this will become clearer but ultimately the definition and correct use of emf and potential difference is to do with energy transfers so bear that all in mind and i hope you found that useful thank you